Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel again, Cloud Institution. So today in this video, we are going to see um, a really very interesting topic, which is create a create an Azure Virtual Machine using Terraform. Okay, so this is very very important and fundamental task for you know any uh, any Terraform engineers you know who want to create a Azure Virtual Machine using Terraform, right? So there are many places we should be understanding what is Azure Virtual Machine and why are we creating it? Okay, how how the resource group and then virtual network and everything is connected together all right so now first of all we, we will be seeing that what is azure virtual you know azure virtual machine so azure virtual machine is nothing but gives you a flexibility of virtualization okay without having to buy a buy and maintain a physical hardware that runs in it okay so virtual machine is basically uh, you know so basically a virtualization technology so which will be provided by cloud you know you don't need to buy any kind of physical servers that you can run on cloud okay so it's basically a virtual server on the cloud right so it's basically a virtual server on the cloud so azure virtual machine you know or the infrastructure as a code okay so we have multiple concepts right so we have a infrastructure as code and platform as a you know, sorry infrastructure as a service and platform as a service i don't know the software as a service all these things are there right so the virtual machine azure virtual machine lies in infrastructure as a code technology okay so because it's give you an infrastructure for you to be able to use it okay so without wasting a time let's go to the demo and see how to create a azure virtual machine so in this case i'm going to my browser okay as you can see here i already have a cloud institution or g resource group okay under which i've created the okay uh, i've created a virtual network okay so there is a voice that is already created and then the nick is there okay so all these resources have been created by my terraform code so now if you can see here okay so i have resource group okay so and then the virtual network which is vnet so the vnet name is going to be okay so as you can see here you can go to providers and uh, we can just see vnet name is going to be um okay vnet1 okay see here vnet1 and then the subnet is going to be subnet one so as you can see here if you go inside we have subnets the subnet is going to be subnet one okay so that nick we have created one network interface card okay so that's the virtual network interface card you can go back here inside you can see the virtual network interface card is being created network interface right so all these things are created so because this these are the things or prerequisites for your virtual machine so now let's go back to the go back to your terraform resource and let's see okay let's copy some of this parameters okay so now as you can see the virtual machine okay this is the azure virtual azure Auto virtual machine right so what you have to do is that you have to just copy the entire configuration and you have to be pasting it in your you know so in your resources so now there are there are various things which has to be changed based on the computation which you have created okay so now i'm copying all these things exactly the same same way okay so now fair enough and we have created it uh, copied it and we are going to paste it over vnet.tf you know this is the terraform configuration file where we'll be copying okay we don't need all these things commented out okay so now i'm going to explain to you you know how to make it work right so now let's change all the parameters one by one okay so now if you can give the terraform plan here okay so terraform plan here you know so it's just it's asking me to change various options okay so now we'll just change one by one so now the name so name is going to be uh, the name of the virtual machine okay so now i'm going to make it as a variable okay so i'm giving vm underscore name okay it's going to be the virtual machine name so the resource group name is going to be so azure rm resource group dot cloud dot name is going to be the resource group name okay so now what i'm going to do is i already have this one over here i'm going to copy it okay i'm going to have a resource group name over here i'm just replacing it resource group name and then I'm going to copy with resource group location. Okay, so how will go reference reference here? We have Azure resource group cloud dot name. 
okay azure awesome resource group cloud dot location okay something like that it's a, it, it can be referenced all right so now i wanted to create a virtual machine name as a variable okay so let's go to the variable.tf file and let's come here create a new block called variable okay so now we can have we have to give a variable name okay the type of the variable is going to be you know variable type is going to be string and then the the name of the name of the uh, image okay so for example the default option of my vm name is going to be cloud iphone institution okay the cloud institution and then vm so this is going to be my virtual machine name all right it sounds good enough right so now we can go and see okay so we are going to see that vnet okay so this is the configuration so which we created initially right so everything is looking perfect you know, vm size is going to be we are taking a default vm size whatever the standard is mentioned over here and then the storage image references okay whatever the references what has been mentioned over here that will be available okay so the image what is image reference is kind of a so is it'll be telling you that you know which image you know which image uh, you're going to use it to provision your vm okay so this is this and all we can give it as the default okay so the which image is going to be is going to be like ubuntu image so which is the ubuntu linux server that we are going to create okay so os disk os disk is going to be okay so i'm just giving a name and caching read write and then creation option from image and then the manage disk type is going to be standard lrs is the disk type okay so each and every uh, disk having a is own disk type if you want to change this change this one we have to go here and manage this types you can go here and search for this okay so we have a different standard right standard lrs and standard you know so ssd lrs and premium lrs all these things are there okay so now let's go back here and then the os profile okay in the os profile what you are going to do is that in the computer name okay is the host name if you want to change the host name of this machine you can change it okay and then the admin username you know so i'm going to give just an admin and the password is, password is going to be okay so cloud institution at the rate 123 is the password i'm giving okay so cloud institution 123 is the password which i have been given over here okay now the os profile linux configuration you know disable password authentication is equal to false i'm giving okay <clears throat> So, which means that you know I wanted to disable password authentication. So, let's go see, go and see what is this option. This will disable password authentication. Let's go. Okay. So, specify whether password authentication should be disabled. If set to false, an admin password must be specified. Okay. So, we have given an admin pass. We have just password authentication must be disabled. Okay. And then that admin password we have been set over here. Okay. Admin password has been set. Right, so that is the option which we are going to do it. Okay, so the tag is going to be the tag, whatever the tag which we can give, we don't need to give anything like that over here. Okay, so now if you can give this one, I'm going to get very interesting error. Okay, so that is Terraform plan. If you can give, it's going to be a network interface ID. Okay, so this error is getting. Now, if you can see here network interface and then the example, and then we are going to give the ID of it. Okay. So now, how would it be connected? I'm going to explain it to you now. Now, network interface. Example. Okay, example dot ID. So this is how you'll be referencing the ID of the previous resources. Okay, so this resource is already created. I'm going to get the ID of this particular thing. Okay. Now, if you can see here, sorry, uh, this is not in network interface. Okay, network interface example dot ID. Okay, so this is correct. If you can see here, we have created an Azure resource group and we have created an Azure virtual network and we also created a subnets and the network interface. Okay, and now we are going to create a virtual machine. Okay, now by leaving all this by default, okay, I am going to give Terraform plan. 
okay so it'll take some time for this to prepare the terraform plan okay meanwhile i'm going to show you like how this is gonna work right so now terraform plan is successful okay terraform plan looks good here okay i'm going to show you like how it's gonna work so we have a complete resource group here okay so this is called as a resource group okay so so group inside that first of all we have created a vnet okay this is called as a virtual network which is vnet all right so next we have a subnet inside that we have created a subnet okay this is going to be a subnet all right now inside this we have created a nic interface okay nic interface has been attached to subnet okay so subnet is going to be is going to be nick so which one it called okay so v nick now I, i'm going to create a virtual machine okay i'm going to create a vm virtual machine and then virtual machine will be attached the to the virtual net virtual nick okay the virtual net will be attached to this particular vm okay so now it will be like it will get the ip address from here okay the, the vm this vm will be getting the ip address from the virtual network interface card okay so this is how this is what is going to be happening now now the terraform is going to be terraform plan is successful now i'm going to do terraform apply okay so applying terraform so as you can see here all these things the terraform plan looks really good okay so everything is looks green now it's going to be deploying okay now it's telling me that okay i'm going to provision this do you want to apply okay uh, sorry guys um by mistake i'm giving yes over so here okay so virtual machine is creating okay uh, we are getting some kind of a error okay um okay so there is my disk one is already exist um, you know so is this, that is what is telling because the disk one is already been exist so uh, we are going to see that you know my disk two okay, because in the previous uh, you know the experiments we have already we might have already created this particular disk so i'm going to apply apply it again okay these are all the errors which you should be seeing why this error errors are coming okay so whenever you are just doing it okay so i'm just going yes so whenever you seeing the error you should not panic you should be just seeing that why this error is so coming okay as you can see here this machine machine is creating right so you can go back and refresh it okay so there is nothing there is one why is this which has been uh, previously created okay now it is going to be creating uh, the one more why is this and and followed by that is going to be creating a vm so again it is just giving error okay the admin user specified is not allowed okay, for information allowed the user names okay so i think so it is not allowing the admin user name okay username admin user name specified is not allowed okay so maybe that let's go and copy the same admin user name from whatever has been suggested over here okay maybe that let's just copy with the test admin because the admin is the very very generic name okay i'm going to replace with the test admin okay so these are all the errors you must be facing when you deploy this exact configuration which you have copied from the internet the terraform registry okay so you know there is no kind of a magic over here you have to be copying it and then pasting it and you should be provisioning all these resources on your own okay so now the arturo jones virtual machine dot main is creating okay let's see for a fraction of seconds if we are getting any kind of a further errors or not okay still creating seems to be good for now okay so let's go back here and see refresh okay good so we have we have created okay, so the terraform is created why is this two okay and then the nick card okay nick nick card is already been created previously and then my why is this two is been created now so now if i refresh it again we must be seeing okay so one of the vm is got created now see cloud institution vm 
so this is the vm name which we have given over here cloud institution vm is what we have been given it over here okay so this is really good right like so we have been cre created so we have been given that cloud institution vm uh, then as a name and then it's got taken all the parameters as it is and we have been tweaked few little things here and there okay we got some kind of errors but finally we have provisioned the azure auto virtual machine okay this is good now if you can see the ip address of this machine as you can see here the ip address of this machine will be taken from this nic okay here we have ip address okay ip address then the ip address will be assigned to this particular vm now you can go back to the nic okay you can see that what is the ip address has been assigned to this one this is 1.10.0.0.4 is the ip address has been assigned to this particular nic now we have uh, we have assigned uh, you know we have assigned this nic to this vm okay so now we go the cloud institution vm and you see okay the ip address private ip address is going to be 10.0.0.4 okay so now public ip address is not showing because we have not opted for any public ip addresses anyway okay so that is the reason why it's not showing anything so now we are good with the private ip addresses okay now so this is how you'll be creating the okay so azure virtual machine through terraform so hope this video was really helpful for you you know so if you want if you are if you're working on some kind of a companies and if if this is the task is given for you okay you, you should be creating you know so this kind of resources on your own okay so yeah so with this one we have created the azure virtual machine and thank you so much for watching this video if you like to enroll for any kind of a courses with us please call us on this number okay we would like to enroll you for uh, various courses we are offering aws azure terraform kubernetes and so on you know so various all courses related to cloud and uh, java and everything there are various various courses that we are giving okay so please sub subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this one okay so we'll be posting a lot of videos like this in the future okay thank you so much guys